What's everybody? Strimtom here. So, I'm here to make a very quick video because the Codex War, the new expansion update 29 for Dungeons Dragons Online has just come out. A lot of cool new stuff in it. They're adding legendary quests, they're opening level cap 30. They're um, the legendary quests are the updated old raids, so the Shroud, Hound of Zoriat, both awesome awesome raids. Tempest Spine the first raid ever. It's going to be a free legendary raid. So you can do that once you hit level 30. All uh, updating a bunch of quests. Oh, it's cool shit. This looks like it's gonna be awesome, so awesome. Like, like just, just looking at the new, the new raid stuff and the way it's gonna work. I'm really pumped. I'm really excited. Some of the stuff they've done with the Epic Destinies, that's kind of cool. Whatever, great. Uh, fine. Uh, healing amp, positive spell power. Okay, whatever. That's really bogus. Anyway, uh, what matters is something to do with the feats. So they added a couple new feats that are so unbelievably broken. They're just, they're just not balanced. They're just, they're just not balanced. Okay. So, we're just gonna get started with that. They're just not balanced. Nobody balanced this. This is just like, let's just put it in the game. Not entirely a bad thing. It's gonna completely shake everything up on its head. Um, if you've played Dungeons & Dragons the past little while, it's been Dungeons & Melee. Uh, it's not really Dungeons & Dragons. Dungeons & Melee. Everybody's melee. Ranged is okay, but why not be melee and do more damage and have better armor and have more life? So, melee is better. Melee is better than everything else in the entire game. That's going to change with this expansion, or this update. So, this new feat, every single DPS caster is going to take this at level 21. There's no other feat in the entire game that you can take that will give you more damage. So it's a buff, it gives you 150 spell power, so 150% increased damage to all of your spells, and 20% spell critical damage uh, for 30 seconds. And it also gives you 110 mana when you take it. I'm assuming the 110 mana is like a passive, if it's not then whatever just goes in for 30 seconds, I guess. I think it's 110 mana is like a passive, though. It's worded really weird. Either way, this cooldown uh, gives you 150% increased damage to all your spells. So you activate this, and then you just throw out your burst combo. So you just pick all your highest damage spells right down the line, and then 20% extra spell critical damage. This is unbelievable. Uh, casters already had better burst damage than uh, than melee. Now their burst damage is increased by 150%. Clearly it's not 150% because people could get like 700 spell power, so that would only be like a 15% damage increase. But wait, there's more. There's this arcane insight thing which gives you plus to spell DCs. This is totally stupid, so don't even take this. It's like really great for like one-shotting guys with your instant death effects and stuff. But the problem is this is this is dumb because this doesn't affect red names at all. So this is totally useless. Uh, you don't take arcane insight for any purpose, anything. Here's where the dumb shit happens, okay? So what they decided is that they were gonna add these cool new feats. So like, bam, augment summoning, so you get plus eight, whatever. That's fine. Uh, they added intensify spell. It's empower but applied a second time. It's Empower that stacks with Empower. So I'm going to get my music playing again. It's Empower that stacks with Empower. Great. And it gives you extra mana. Great. So essentially by taking this, 114 spell points, uh, it allows you to cast, what is it? I think it's uh, nine spells with this active. Intensify gives you an extra 75 spell power. So that's great. More damage. Whatever. Fine. Great. Embolden. Plus two to the DC of spells. This is actually really good. This is really good for any kind of death caster or anything like that or enchanter so that's fine ah <sighs> this is the dumb shit so dumb shit here i'm going to highlight this uh yeah this is this shit right here so let's get started so essentially what all these feats do is they take the main spells of each type of caster and increase the cast maximum cast level by 10 and give you a bunch of mana now you might not think that's crazy but the thing by increasing the maximum cast level by 10 is it increases your base damage, your unmultiplied damage, by 10. So if your unmultiplied damage is 10, and or 20, and you increase that by 10, that's 50% more damage. It's not 50% increased damage, it's 50% more damage. The reason I say more is because uh, if I have 100 damage, okay, and uh, I do 100% more damage, or sorry, 100% uh, increased damage, because I have like 100 spell power, then it, when I hit for 100, I actually hit for 200, because I have an extra 100% increased. Uh, if I get an extra 50% increased damage on that, so I get 150 spell power, then instead of doing 100, I do 250 damage. But if I increase my base by 50%, then my base goes from 100 to 150. Then I multiply that by my spell power, which would be 100, giving me 300 damage total. So essentially what each one of these does, uh, Electric Sorcerer, uh, Acid Sorcerer, Cold Sorcerer, 
fire sorcerer, uh, undead guy, or necromancer, what do you call them? Pale masters, uh, clerics and favorite souls, uh, artificers, druids, bards, um, arcane wizards, so the archmages, and again, um, clerics and uh, favorite souls. All of these is going to increase all their base damages by 50%. So increase your base damage by 50% is kind of crazy, because that's going to be active all of the time. Like, all of the time. Uh, it's just, this is way too much damage. So now what it means is if I go ahead and I'm like, hmm, I'm going to cast, I don't know, uh, Sunbolt, which already gets up to 15d6, now it goes up to 25d6, increases the base damage by an unbelievable amount. Uh, this is crazy and ridiculous. This amount of damage is completely over overtuned. Uh, caster is going to do infinitely more damage than melee. Not only that, uh, Chill Touch, Death Roar, and Negative Energy Burst spells are going to essentially mean that, uh, what do you call them? The Undead, the guys, the uh, Pale Masters, they're never going to die. This Death Aura getting extra 10 levels means they're never, ever, ever going to be able to die because they're going to heal themselves way too much. Um, there's other stuff here, like legendary feats and stuff. It's all really cool. And they, and they rebalanced Intimidate, so now Intimidate's actually really, really good. It's got a shorter animation, it gives you 400% threat multiplier, um, and now it tells you it's skill times 200, so this should be put on the wiki relatively soon, so you actually know what it does. Um, so you can actually calculate how much your Intimidate affects your ability to hold aggro over people that do way more damage than you do. So that's pretty cool, but whatever. So there's, that's the big important thing, but this is just, this is just fucking unbelievably ridiculous. This is crazy. It's good. It's really good. It's really cool. It's going to be cast as really fun to play, but this is crazy. The only reason I can think that they possibly did this much of an increase is this is... Casters aren't really bad, but they're just not as good as melee. This is unreal. It's unholy how strong this is. Um, the only reason I can think that they really did that is because the new green steel weapons might do way too much damage, like even more than the Thunderforged, which is really the big reason why melee was better, is because Thunderforged weapons are too ridiculous. Um, this might be the way to balance that out. I don't know, though. Uh, the last thing that's important is this one, Archmage's Arcane Bolt and Arcane Blast spell-like enhancements, which were before really, really, really bad because they didn't scale off anything. Now they scale off of everything, so that's great. Anyway, uh, that's my whole video. I just wanted to talk about how ridiculous this shit is. Um, I'm absolutely going to be playing a full caster artificer because Blasting Rod is going to do, like, 25 d6s of damage or something stupid. And I'm playing a full caster bard 100% reverberate. Oh my god, the damage. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys later. Peace!